So with the dental uh, assisting root canal therapy, you will find the procedure in your assessment book. We're going to look at the instruments and the equipment involved with the procedure. The basic setup, which is the basic setup of the mirror and the explorer. The cotton pliers that we utilize for the procedure is the locking pliers rather than a regular cotton pliers. An endodontic explorer is utilized along with an endodontic spoon excavator. We have the dental dam set up. With the dental dam set up, I have it already here within the dental dam forcep, but we're utilizing for an anterior tooth the butterfly clamp. We have the high speed handpiece. And in the high speed handpiece, we have the round burr, friction grip burr. And within the slow speed handpiece, we have ready to go the round friction grip burr. We have ready to go the irrigation syringe, which is filled with sodium hypochlorite. And sodium hypochlorite is a mixture of water and Javex. The Javex ratio is 5% to 95% water. And in a cup, you're going to have, and of course here for the procedure, here in our, in our setup, because it is a simulation, we're utilizing just water. But in a dental office, it would be the sodium hypochloride that is in the irrigating syringe. We have a barbed brooch that is set up here within the file set up. And I have here a finger file system that has the measuring device attached to it. And the endo files we have from smallest, which is the white file, which is the 15 file, to the largest, which is the 40 size file. Over by the dentist, we have the Lentulo spiral, along with a set of Gates Glidens, which is size two to size four. We have here the gutta perca, which is ready. The gutta perca, the dentist will determine the size, but I have two sizes sitting here on a two by two that is soaked with sodium hypochloride. Next to the gutta perca, I have the paper points. And paper points come in different sizes. And if you note, the paper points that are uh, taken out here are red on the tip. That actually determines the size of paper point to be utilized. In this case, the red would be a size 25. I have here a dappen dish with some powder which is actually from the Cybron Endo sealer. This is to be utilized, and I'll show you what that looks like during the procedure. Um, when you are practicing, you're not going to have the powder in there, but I'm just showing you in a dental office, you sometimes utilize the powder in the Dappen dish to dip your pluggers onto. And I'll show you what that looks like during the procedure. We have here again our Cybron Endo Sealer. Now, according to um, most procedures, it all, there are many types of sealer, but this is one example of an endodontic sealer that's available on the market. I have here a glass slab for the sealer along with the um, spatula. I have the temporization filling, which is the cavit. And then talk a little bit about the instruments that we'll be utilizing. We, of course, have our anesthetic set up here with our topical anesthetic. I have a Glick number one, which is a PFI for the uh, temporary filling. I have my endodontic pluggers 
from largest to smallest. And then I have my uh, touch and heat, which is the heating instrument that we utilize for heating up the gutta perca and for backfill if you're using gutta perca. And talking about that with the gutta perca for backfilling, we have a gutta perca gun. There are different kinds. You have gutta perca pallets that are placed in the gun to utilize for backfill. We'll utilize this instrument to show you what ba backfill looks like. Some offices may, for the backfill, instead of using a gun, use cut up pieces of gutta perca that you would heat up by utilizing the touch and heat. In dental practices, talking about the gutta perca backfill system, there are many available. As I had mentioned, we have here a gun, but there are many hand instruments that you can use that actually look like a pen or a modified version of a gun which is actually cordless. One thing that I need to point out here also during the procedure is something called an endo-ease. This is going to be utilized on the high volume section. The assistant is going to remove the high volume section and put the endo-ease on uh, during the drying out of the canal procedure. So within the endodontic procedure, we utilize endodontic files from the smallest, which is a size 15, which is uh, a white, to the largest within this procedure. There are many types of files, but in this procedure, it goes up to a size 40, which is a black endodontic file. We're utilizing also the Gates Glidden, which is size 2 to size 4. And in some dental offices, rather than using the file system with the Gates Glidden, some offices will use um, rotary instrument systems. In this case, I have an example here of a rotary system. One is called an endodontic flaring. And it opens up the endodontic canal just the same way as the Gates Glidden does. And we have an endodontic rotary file that we be utilized the same way except within a uh, handpiece that's special for uh, root canal in place of utilizing the file system. When we're using the rotary system, most offices you may come across something called RC prep. This is to help the rotary system as it's guided down the canal. Assist with local anesthetic. Assist with dental dam.
The dentist is now going to use the friction grip round burr. Followed by the latch round burr. assistant will pass the spoon excavator with a 2x2 two two in the transfer zone. Next to pass is the endodontic explorer. The dentist is locating the opening of the canal. Once the dentist has found the canal opening, the dentist is going to utilize the barb brooch. And the assistant is going to pass a cotton roll soaked with sodium hypochloride and then pass the sodium hypochloride to the dentist for rinsing. The assistant will then pass the 15 size file to the dentist within the apex locator. This is to determine the working length. The assistant will place the grounding hook on the patient's lip. And the apex locator is then clipped on to the number 15 file. The assistant will remove the apex locator grounding hook. Now the assistant will measure the files according to the working length, starting with the number 20 file measured at 20 because the working length was 21. The next file is the 25 file and the measurement is going to be 19, one millimeter off the last file. The next file is the 30 and it's going to be measured at 18. 35 is going to be measured at 17 and then the 40 file is measured at 16 millimeters. And then have the sodium hypochlorite ready within the transfer zone. The last file is being utilized at this point, which is the 40 file. The assistant will then retrieve some more sodium hypochloride for the final rinse.
the dentist will now utilize the size 2 gate Glidden while the assistant holds the sodium hypochlorite within the transfer zone. followed by rinsing with sodium hypochlorite in between each use of Gates Glidden. We are now to prepare for drying the canal. The dental assistant will place the endo-ease where the high volume suction is and then pass it to the operator. The assistant will then pass utilizing the locking pliers. Make sure that you have the paper points facing in the direction where they're to be placed so it makes it easier for the dentist. And they'll utilize the other side of the 2x2 two two to place the dirty paper points. The dentist will then tell the assistant what size gutta perca we are to try in. Size 25. The assistant will pass the gutta perca on a wet 2x2 two two and the locking pliers to the dentist to try in. And the assistant will now help the dentist with the taking of the endodontic image. This is to determine the working length, just to verify it. We would place, at this point, a lead apron also along with the endodontic image. The image confirms the length of the uh, gutta perca, so the assistant will pass back the locking pliers to retrieve the gutta perca. We are now ready to cement with the endodontic sealer the gutta perca. So the dentist will place the lentulo spiral into the slow sand hand piece while the assistant mixes the endodontic cement sealer. The assistant will pass, or pass to the transfer zone. And then in the transfer zone, endodontic sealer for the gutta perk.
the assistant will now prepare to utilize the touch and heat and use the endodontic pluggers starting from the largest to the smallest. So the assistant will prepare with the high volume section to catch the plume. Now we've finished with the removal of the gutta perca, the extra gutta perca. Now we're going to get ready to backfill with the operation. So sometimes a dentist will use small cut up pieces of gutta perca with the touch and heat, but today we're going to use the gutta perca pellet gun. We are now ready to place the temporary filling utilizing the glyph number one PFI. And then final after the temporary is passing, the dental assistant will pass a wet cotton pellet. The assistant will then pass the articulating paper to check for bite. Everything looks fine. The assistant will now prepare to take the final image. And this will determine if the root canal is successful and everything is sealed. At the end of the procedure, the assistant would talk to the patient. That's called post-operative instructions. And the instructions, there are three of them, are as follows. The area is anesthetized. Please be careful with the anesthetized area. You could burn the lip. You could chew the lip, so avoid until the freezing has left. If you have any swelling, call the office. And we need to book your final restorative procedure to finish the tooth area.